It's another beautiful day. It's another beautiful morning. Well, every time I wake up, I used to do my singing therapy. Uh, I know sounds a bit single, but it didn't make me be alive. You, know, you have to bring out the spirit, you know, the spiritual ginger. So what's up, guys? It's a boy again. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are very much doing okay. So should I put on this glass? People keep asking me, why do I wear glass? I say, I get a polo. I get a polo. Hmm? <laughs> so, of course, we saw the title of this video now. So, let's uh, have a, a clear, very nice discussion concerning it. Bobad father is accusing Bobad wife of uh, giving the son sleeping medication. And not just only that, apparently he also said whenever Mobad is asleep, after she gave she give a Mobad sleeping medication, she will use Mobad phone to transfer money into her mother's account and delete the uh, transaction receipt. Well, those are part of the allegations that he was laying yesterday at the, at the corona inquest. It's straightforward, just saying them. Like, you know, apart from Obad seeking for just, you know, the family are also fighting over properties. You know, that is the next thing. It is normal in any family, except now it's just a few families that are well organized that you will see that they don't fight for property. But typical family will definitely fight for property next after someone dies. That is just how it is. I don't really blame them. It has be available to your own family or someone close to you you have witnessed before. After someone dies was money, the next thing they talk about is the property that is human being for you. So it is normal for Mobad's father, Mobad's uh, wife, and Mobad's uh, mom, and Mobad's uh, uh, mother-in-law dragging for property well i want to acknowledge this the father said moba stayed with him for 18 years 18 good years before moba left his house to live with naramali come on guys 18 goddamn good years 18 years Left his house to start hustling for himself, then uh, later found himself in Naramali's house, continued his music career there. 18 years. Somebody took care of a son for 18 years. You now, women, uh, make una know the mother wasn't there for like uh, more than 10 years. The wife just they recently met, uh, the, he recently met the wife, not even how many years. The mother in law wasn't even there. Now they call the enjoy uh, property. I'm speaking, I'm speaking. As a man that will be a father. And speaking as a father. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. How you as a father will feel about that. Your son you took care of. You nurtured. Took loan for. Drive your second wife on behalf. And now the picking grew. People just they collect property. Hmm? Well, I'm going to be angry, but I'm going to give you exactly what I think happened to Mubad, as I've said it before, and I will also say it now. Well, firstly, let us uh, check out how Mubad's dad narrated the whole matter at uh, the Corona inquest yesterday, talking about how Naramali, sorry, how Mubad's. Uh, wife was giving him uh, sleeping medication or you can easily call it kayamata so in this paragraph he said he testified that his son left his house at the age of consent and began to assist mali while embarking on his career in music joseph said that he saw the disease three days before his death 
He added that he saw the disease casket only in a picture. According to him, his son assured him that he would be able to handle his dispute with Mali. Joseph testified that the disease landed properties was in the custodies, uh, custody of his mother-in-law. Adding that the disease often told him about his possession held by his, mother, uh, by his wife and her family. He claimed that Mubad's wife put sleeping pills into his food when they lived with Mali. He said Mubad's wife was putting sleeping pills into his food while they were still living in Mali. They are living with Nara Mali. Ah, so is, what was it that she would put sleeping pills into Nara uh, Mubad's food? So that you will go knock the next guy for the other room, or maybe they will put sleeping pills for a food so that you will go do, so that you will just uh, go do some kurukere uh, waka or maybe transfer money. You know, eh, the crazy part of this story is that not every details will come out. Not every true detail will come out. There are some deep secrets that will never see the light of the day. All those secrets are left for God to judge. Hmm? God is all known. He knows everything that you do, that you even are not even conscious about. So it's all knowing. So there are some secrets that I am sure that will never, never come out to see the light of the day. But those major ones, eh? Those are the real deal that led to his death. That is what I want to uh, hear. So, the father also said the wife was transferring money from Mubas' account to his uh, mother in law's account. Well, all those things are very simple now. They are very, very simple. They should check the, uh, they should check the uh they should check account numbers of mobad and print out the, the statement to check if some unusual money is sent from mobad's account to the wife account or from mobad's account to the wife sister account or, or anybody or mobad's account to the mother-in-law account you know, usually they do dash money. Mother Ella, I better take this 500k, take you. Mother Ella, take this small money, take you. Well, I cannot say exactly what happened. But all I'm saying that is it that the police didn't see anything at all to hold this Mubad wife? Because this, this woman was interrogated four times. And the police still refused to, to hold her or to indict her. That is to say her hands are clean now. Fabi, they are still waiting for the DNA. A DNA test that was announced to the public that they did a DNA test. And they never, and they never uh, carried out any DNA test. Come on, man. So the, 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 the stupid comedian, OJB, who announced it, is now quiet about the DNA test. Are you, are you sure that OJB no, is not being complicit? Eh? Because the first person to visit Mobad, while Mobad died, you know, go there to pay his respect. And I respect him for that. But releasing a statement that wasn't verified. Ah. So, lastly, let's go to Naramali. Naramali is fighting back. You know, K. Sulu had an interview during those times why the matter was still hot. K. Sulu said, Naramali, it's impossible for Naramali to say he doesn't have hands in Mubaz's death. That is impossible. He was so convinced about that. But it was impossible for Naramali to come out to say he didn't have hands in Mubaz's death. 
Well, I don't know how Naramali did it all. I don't know how he did it. But uh, there is this uh, headline from Linda AKG that said, Naramali to sue Kesulu for defamation of character over Mubaz's death. In the interview heard on September 17th, Kesulu said, Naramali is involved in Mubaz's death. He cannot tell me he is not involved. He has hand in his death. These claims, without any substantial evidence, have a caused serious damage to Naramali's reputation. The Naramali team said in a statement released by Naramali Media as at uh, October 26, the team said they will be initiating legal action against Kesolo for defamation of character. The media further stated that they will no longer fold their hands and watch people with a negative agenda drag Naramali, and neither would they allow anyone achieve their aims of uh, declaring the singer guilty for an offense he did not commit at all cost. The statement further added that, henceforth, anyone who makes any allegation against Naramadi must present concrete proof, not only on the internet, but also in a court of law. Every falsehood and rumors will be met with severity and full weight of the law full weight of the law well the thing that i can say was is that huh even if not like no that's all i want so not like well, that also cost me to but what i will say is that Nara, uh, mobad himself made a video and he said if anything happened to him they should hold Nara Mali responsible <laughs> that's why you want to sue me for that it's true now mobad said it and they have fights severally in, Mubaz, in, in Naramali's house, in Malia's house. There is proof videos every year now. Eh? Mubaz treating himself in the, in the hospital. Maybe you got uh, the, the sue people for that also. So for, for case of no matter, I don't really know. So this is my conspiracy theory concerning the whole matter. And I've, I, and I've said this before. I believe hmm, because of spiritual fight between this is what i think oh this is what i think because of the spiritual fight between mobas father mobas wife mobas uh, mother and mobas mother-in-law because of the spiritual battle be it uh christian going to the mountain be it going to all those fake pastors who are say doing some voodoo magical, wearing white garment, doing all those things. No, because the spiritual battle around Mubad, hmm? it affected him. Mubad was already finished in the spiritual realm. He was already finished. He was a dead man walking. He was already finished. Because this one will throw just I want me and my son to favor me. This one will true. I want me and my wife, my husband to favor me. This one will true. I want to make my uh, 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 my son the Lord to favor me. This one will true. I want to make my son to favor me. You know, boom, 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 boom. The guy who now wants Katara. So the whole thing, the he, he, the 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 big bass boost for spiritual. <laughs> you are spirit don't tire, don't want break. No, because uh, whether you believe it or not, there are people who there are people who are already dead in the spiritual realm, and if you just touch them like this, then you are just for they are dead, they your neck. That's why it's advisable not to just go out and fight anybody there, because you don't know if that person is already finished. You don't know if that person is already finished, and I'm very very sure. All those people are now going to see her, going to their mountain pastor. Their mountain pastor will shoot to the lady. Ah, God has revealed to me. My bad wife. There's this woman that is around my bad that used to give her um, medicine, sleeping medicine, something there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. My bad wife, you get wife. Uh -huh. I don't know, but there is this woman. You know, that is how this uh, spiritual people talk. 
deceiving people up and down. Now God will punish you now, all the spiritual people. Make one of the feet say you are deceiving people. There's just one person. Once you hold that person strong, eh? And it's God. Once you hold that person strong, I don't think there is a need for you to even check who do something to you. Yes, so if you believe in God, eh? If someone do something behind you and you don't know the person, have you will you ask God to tell you who, who that person is? If you believe in the judgment of God, you say God take control. You leave everything entirely to me because it's the best judge. It's the best judge. The only thing you can do is to fight for properties. Fight for property, yes, that is good and fight. That is physical or something. Fight for properties, fight for other things, but 